In recent times, one of my favorite places to go to, and this might sound a little weird, but it's Walmart, okay? I like to go to Walmart. Why, Ragosa? Out of all the places, why do you like to go to Walmart? Sure, there's other places that I like to go, but more frequently, right, I go to Walmart, okay, to do some godforsaken grocery shopping. Uh, they got some nice selections out there, but, like, my favorite has to be, like, their selection of cacti. Okay, they got some really nice looking cacti in the right time periods. Other times, it's like a fucking ghost town. And it's like, that's a little infuriating. But you just gotta go around different Walmarts and stuff like that. But why am I talking about Walmart? Okay, like, like <laughs> what did Walmart do? You know, what did Walmart do to, uh, to get a video response? Okay, it has something to do with VR. Has something to do with the metaverse and Walmart. All those three interesting things in one topic and one video. Ladies and gentlemen. Walmart has gone into VR. That's right. You can do your shopping list right now. You can do your shopping without even leaving your home, without even having to look on your phone. No, 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 no. You can go on a virtual trip to Walmart right now. Let me go ahead and show you what I see right now on the screen, on the big blue screen right here. Let me go ahead and just turn that down a little bit. Here we go. As you can see, this is coming from a tweet that's uh, homo... Homo uh, Digitalis, Homo Digitalis, that, like, that's a <gasps> quirky name of it. Uh, this is how Walmart envisions shopping in the metaverse. Thoughts? I, I it's kind of weird, okay? I don't think it's terribly horrible, you know? I don't think it's like a, you know, godforsaken, you know, testament of humanity, like, oh, we failed. No, I just, I think it's a little weird, okay? I'm not 100% sure if they're actually gonna go through with this, you know? I think this is just a little test run. Uh, but it would still be interesting regardless. It is something that I probably won't participate in because the entire experience of going to Walmart, okay, the, the, the enjoyment of Walmart is actually going through Walmart, okay, to experience the Walmart energy itself, okay. You can't find the Walmart energy anywhere else besides Walmart and maybe outside the, the park uh, parking lot of a Walmart. But here's the deal though, ladies and gentlemen, let's just go ahead and watch this video. We're going to do a little uh, live reaction here. The, the video is like two minutes long. But here we go. Let's let's see what we have to offer. Let's see what Walmart has to offer in a VR virtual experience. Great. Looks like you need a good wine pairing. Already, I'm like turned off by the idea to have some bitch <laughs> follow me around. You know, while I'm doing my goddamn grocery shopping, I already have that happen to me all the time. Not because I'm hot, but because people think I'm stealing shit. You know. <laughs> They're like, look at this beater. He's probably stealing something right now. He probably has something in his pocket right now. So I have people following me around and it's like, I'm not stealing anything, okay? Just because I look like a fucking minority doesn't mean I'm stealing something, okay? I'm just looking around. I'm perusing the aisles, looking for the things that I want the most. But I'm not gonna buy it because <laughs> I'm poor. I'm fucking poor. What, you think I have money? You think YouTube pays me a lot? Fuck no. No, 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 no. But yeah, no, I would fucking hate the idea of this bitch following me around 24-7, you know, telling me what to get. It's like, oh, you should get this thing. Like, no, bitch, I think you should fuck off. Take a look to your right. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile, so no need to wait for an ID check. Damn it, I can't cheat my way through the system anymore. God damn it. Oh no. I can't buy my fancy mom's uh, wine anymore. Gosh darn it. Ah, no. No more white women wine for me. Grr. I, I, but I, I wonder, I wonder if they actually will find a way. Like, if this actually comes true, if they actually implement this, they want people to actually do this instead of going to stores, which I think would be bad for business overall because... If it's easier to do it in a VR experience, imagine the like all the stores just like shutting down. Okay, like I think that would be bad business. Uh, but, 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 I feel like there's going to be a way. Like everyone, like there's gonna be like that one Russian kid's like, I'm going to beat the, the system. Watch me right now, and he's gonna, you know, fake ID or something. It might be easier. Who knows? Just place the item in your cart whenever you're ready. Also, I have to say, I really hate the design of the cart. It looks like absolute shit. Give me the regular metal cart, okay? The shopping cart, the the, uh, the 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 signature design everywhere that you see, 
you know, a, a store that offers that kind of shit. It's metal. Well, sometimes it's plastic, but for the most part, it's metal. And everything just fades away. How boring is that? I'll say that right now. That's kind of fucking boring. The fact that you can't walk around. Okay, you can't have your little character r walk around. No, like, you, you are stationary, but the entire environment moves. Or, like, the aisles move. It's kind of fucking boring. Kind of horrifying, too. It's like, you're in the void. There's nothing. I'm getting a notification from your connected smart grid. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? No, shut the fuck up, bitch. She's like, I hate this recommendation. Okay, she's like, ah, maybe if it were just the notification, I'd be like, whatever. That's still annoying, though. I mean... You could say, like, oh, well, that's a little convenient, though, Ragozin, because I don't know if I have this item I might forget, and it's nice to know. The fact that, like, it connects to your fucking refrigerator, it's, like, a little too much. I think it's a little too much. Like, this shit right here is perfect for, like, the average white rich person, or the white, uh, fortunate person. You know, the person that can, uh, throw away money and then not even fucking sweat it the next day or the next minute, okay? Obviously, they're gonna be able to afford something as ridiculous as a smart refrigerator i get having a big refrigerator is nice okay uh i might look my mom really wants one of those big refrigerators where it has like multiple doors and shit that that shit's cool okay like i understand that but like to have a fucking tv on it too and you can like listen to music on that shit it's like come on just get a fucking speaker you'll be fine you don't need a goddamn uh, you know, entire gaming system on your fucking refrigerator. All right, it's just uh, unnecessary. Oh, I gotta put away the milk. Oh, and it tells you everything too. It's like, oh, here's the nutrients and stuff. Not bad. And then there's he's the less than everything. You're hey, the price of raw. Good news, your oil change is done. Your vehicle will be ready at the tire and lube express. I'll, I'll say this if it if the thing gives you an option to punch her in the fucking face I I would be okay with it. I would be absolutely Okay with it. You know, she's fucking annoying. She's bothering me and shit. It just like, you know, just go uh, whoop -ah! just fucking whoop -ah! whoop -whoop -whoop! And uh, you know, hey you got myself you got yourself a you know a lifetime customer right? I might even consider doing this instead of going to an actual store if I can punch a woman in the face without any uh, you know punishment coming afterwards. I've added the service charge to your party. Now for the fun step to electronics. I have never in my fucking life have I ever said now it's time to go to the electronics. Uh, section of Walmart. The fun section. There is no fun section of Walmart. Walmart overall is the the fun section. All right. The, it's 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 weird to explain, but like there's honestly a vibe to go to a Walmart at 2 a.m. I don't know if you experienced that, but I like I experienced it myself maybe once or twice. But man, I love those kinds of vibes. Oh, I, I fucking love, like, I don't know if this is the person, like, recording this, like, you know, the, the, the original tweeter or something, or this is actually the, uh, you know, the video itself, but I love there's, like, a fucking notification in the background. It's not me, by the way. Let me go ahead and play this back a little bit so I can hear it. See? It's not me. Also, also, I'd like to point out that I thought that was, like, an ass right here. I thought that was, like, some weird... Uh, you know, lewd thing. I was like, that's kind of weird. You know, that's a little, that's a little odd. But no, it's just, I, I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, that's clearly a, a, a person's face, but weird. You definitely saved the best for last. This TV has great reviews on Walmart.com. Add it to your cart, and I'll have it brought to the front for you. What kind of TV is that? No, no. See, the only good TVs out there, all right, you might disagree with me, but we've been, like, these are, like, the only TVs that we have in our fucking house, okay, and they have survived the test of time, and that is Samsung, all right, Samsung, for some godforsaken reason, knows how to make fucking TVs. Maybe, maybe not now, because we've 
I'm experiencing some troubles, especially with like the newer generation of the you know Samsung TVs, where like you try to turn up the volume and it's stuck at 13. It's like, come on, man! I'm trying to go up to 20. You know, please let me up to 20. And it's like stuck at 13. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? That I'm gonna have to put my fucking ear to the goddamn screen so I can hear it. You know? So that's the issue. But older TVs, though, we have one. We have a old TV. Uh, it's like a flat screen, right? But it's not technically a flat screen because that shit looks like a fucking brick. Uh, but in a technical sense, it is a flat screen because it is flatter than the average TV back in the day where it looks like a huge fucking brick, right? But it's like a thinner brick, if that makes sense. But... Yeah, I still think Samsung makes quality TVs. They make quality products, you know, so uh, Whatever the fuck this is fa fantastic fantastic 68 <laughs> No, uh, wait is that even is that even a fucking name? Uh, brand thing fantastic. What the fuck? I feel like they just made that up. Oh Wow you know accessories here are some options on jet.com This man just went yeah, sure. I'll get the TV that costs almost Eight hundred dollars, probably a thousand dollars plus tax, you know, with the tax. Oh, and he wants the accessories too, Poggers! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! He's gonna be sent down to hell now. What the fuck was that noise? Was that Satan? He's like, I would be horrified. Stop with these stupid sound effects. You know, like, I'm just trying to vibe, trying to get some goddamn, you know, groceries, uh, some coke and stuff like that, that I, that I just hear fucking Satan right in my fucking ear, like, it's like, oh my god, it's like Cthulhu, oh god, oh no. Looks like that's everything on your list. Are you ready to check out with Walmart Pay? How's it? <laughs> Oh, look at, look at the fucking price of this shit. Oh my god, you saved, two, oh, you, okay, at least they saved $204, all right? Well, I mean, that is a good deal, all right? Well, like, that's a good saving, all right? Because, like, if you didn't save $200, it'd be up to 1000 Okay, so I, I don't, weird. Uh, drone battery? This person got a drone, let's see what they got. They got a t-shirt, uh, medium size, green cabbage, drone battery, tomato sauce, Ballard Vineyard Pinot Garalio. <laughs> I can't. Ah! Tire and Lube Express oil change. Ah, the XUHD TV, which is that's the big one right there. And then the uh, Universal Remote. It doesn't come with a remote? I, I guess it's the Universal, so it's like whatever. Okay, yeah, you're ready to go out. Ready to check out. Hey, 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 I didn't see a fucking pineapple or that fucking drink or any of that shit. What the fuck? This man stealing. Brought out to your car. This man stealing. Thanks for shopping at Walmart and have a great day. Don't you think that's a little ridiculous? <laughs> they have a fucking giant ass drone. Get the fucking TV. I'm. There's no fucking way that TV. Look at that. Look at the angle. Look at how it's being held. That shit's gonna slide right fucking off. And it's like, oh, there goes your TV. There goes your seven hundred dollar TV or eight hundred dollar TV. Ridiculous. Oh, there goes, there goes the car. Is what? Oh, you not, I hate that. Move along with the items. This is so cursed. They, this has to, like, someone's gonna make this into like a copy or a creepy pasta. You know, like I think uh, there's, there's one that was like called the uh, the never ending store, IKEA store, where like it's just never ending. You can't escape. You know, th someone's gonna make something similar to Walmart, okay? The VR experience where you can never fucking leave and it's so dark and uh, very depressing. Absolutely fuck you. I love the fact that like there's like little, you know, uh, stops where like they, they want to make sure they didn't steal anything. It's gonna be pretty fucking difficult to steal something, you know, from a VR experience from Walmart. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Walmart shopping vr experience let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this honestly for me i think it's pretty quirky uh dumb even but it's like 
that's it. That's literally it. Nothing else to it. I don't think there's like any dangerous implications. Maybe it's bad for business uh, later on if they actually implement this. But as far as I'm aware, as far as the tweet says, it's like I don't think Walmart's gonna actually want to do this. You know, because again, like they have a bunch of fucking stores in the U.S. Okay, if anything, this would be beneficial for people who are you know out of the state or like out of you know the united states someone from fucking china they want to go to walmart but they don't want to fucking go to the united states and they're like oh okay I'll, I'll just go to the walmart from the vr metaverse and they there you go you can get yourself your americanized foods uh but besides yeah like besides that like i don't really fucking care it's quirky but i just for myself would rather go to a walmart personally and uh you know get what i need or just look around because the majority of the time i'm just looking around <laughs> i'm that fucking guy i'm that fucking guy I just walk in a store look at shit for like hours on end and then just leave oh god i really am that guy jesus but there you go again thank you everyone for watching this video i really do appreciate it. if you liked this video don't forget to hit that like button you want to see more content like this don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified of my next video but until then ladies and gentlemen i will see you in the next video goodbye for now